Understanding German Verbs, a comprehensive guide for beginners. Welcome to our video series on learning German for beginners. In the previous lesson, we explored conjugating the words haben and sign. Now, let's delve into the essence of verbs, their structure, and the intriguing world of irregular verbs. What is a verb? A verb, in German known as verb, signifies an action. Consider the example, ich spiel fubel, play football. The verb here is spiel, meaning to play. The structure of a sentence revolves around the verb, shaping its dynamics. Verb structure. Understanding the structure of a verb is crucial. The infinitive form of a verb consists of a stem wurzel and an ending in dung. Infinitive forms typically end in n or n. For instance, spielen has the stem spiel and the ending n. Infinitive form examples, spren to spray, common to come, ren to hear. Verb conjugation. When constructing a sentence, verbs need to be conjugated based on the subject. Conjugation involves modifying the verb stem according to the subject pronoun. For instance, ich spiel, play, and du spielst, you play showcase different conjugations based on the subject. Conjugation example, ich spiel, I play, du spielst, you play. Regular and irregular verbs. In German, verbs fall into two categories, regular and irregular. Regular verbs regelmige verben. Regular verbs, also known as schwach verben, maintain a consistent verb stem throughout conjugation. The stem is coupled with an ending based on the subject. Example, infinitive, learnen, to learn. Conjugation, ich learn, I learn, du learnst, you learn. Irregular verbs, unregelmige verben. Irregular verbs, or stark verben, produce variations in the verb stem during conjugation. Despite the stem changes, the endings follow the same pattern. Example, infinitive, sprechen to speak. Conjugation, ich spreche I speak, du sprichst you speak. In summary, a verb depicts an action, shaping the sentence structure. Every verb has an infinitive form, comprising a stem and an ending. When using verbs in sentences, conjugation is essential, tailored to the subject. German verbs can be regular or irregular, each requiring a distinct conjugation approach. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Subscribe for free German lessons, and don't forget to check out our worksheets and transcripts. Dank for watching, and bis zum Enchsen Mal until next time.